Hey, welcome to Rooster's Recipe. Today, we are going to be teaching you how to make an easy, delicious stromboli. All right, so now Alex is going to first tell you everything you're gonna need for this recipe. All right, babe, what do we need for this stromboli recipe? I cannot wait to eat it. I'm so hungry. We have not ate today at all. You wanna need pepperoni? Probably about 15 slices of pepperoni. Salami? Probably about 15 slices of salami, but we like it meaty around here, so we'll probably use more, let's be honest. Garlic powder, Parmesan cheese, freshly chopped parsley, one egg, thinly sliced ham, one can of pizza crust, minced garlic, two cups of shredded mozzarella, and you will need butter as well. All right, so we are going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 375 degrees while we prepare this. Okay, so you can use your counter space and just use flour, but we we chose to use parchment paper. That way we can just throw it straight into the oven. All right, so this is a square shape. We learned that in elementary school. So I'm gonna roll this out into a rectangle, okay? Watch and learn. Now you wanna grab a big tablespoon of butter. Well, Mess number two of Rooster's recipe. And this is Miss Rooster. <laughs> this is Miss Rooster this time. And this is why he bought this. So we would cover things up, but I hate using it. And it's just an inconvenience. Okay, now we're gonna take two tablespoons of this minced garlic and add it to our butter mixture. All right, I'm gonna stir this around. And then we are going to coat our pizza dough with this mixture. Okay, Alex is gonna sprinkle about a half a cup of mozzarella cheese, but we're gonna leave about an inch to two inches out because that's the way we are going to seal our stromboli when we get done. So that's the next step. So now you're going to cover your cheese with your thinly sliced ham. This is going to be so delicious. I can't wait. Now you're going to take another half a cup of mozzarella cheese and sprinkle it all over the ham. already looking so delicious. So now you're going to add your salami on top of your mozzarella. Now you're going to add your pepperoni on top of the layer of your salami. And you can add as much pepperoni as you like, but you really only need like 15 to 16 to 17 to 20 slices. But we'll probably just cover up the salami. Oh, and look, there's some pepperoni left over for us to munch on. We want Jacob. Mmm. Hungry. If you don't like the sound of people eating, I guess we'll go somewhere else because <laughs> we love to eat around here. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay, Mr. Rooster. So next you're gonna take the rest of this mozzarella cheese and you are going to put it all over the top of our meats. It's gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes to cook in the oven on 375. So now he is going to crack this large egg. Okay, so Alex is gonna get a fork and beat it up. Beat it up, beat it up, beat it up. So now you're going to take your egg wash and expose. <laughs> what would you exposing? You're gonna take your egg wash and you are going to brush the exposed edges of the pizza dough. That's right. <laughs> Please exposed. don't be exposing anything. I'm serious with you over there. Gonna have them bloopers. Well, this ain't a blooper, I'm keeping this in. All right, now comes the hard part. You are going to roll your stromboli or your pizza dough into a nice little stromboli. Won't you try? Lord help us, 
please. We've got this. And roll it tightly as possible. All right, so you want your seal where you put the egg wash to be on the bottom. And as you can see, Alex is kind of sealing each end of the stromboli. Okay, so next you're gonna transfer your stromboli to a baking sheet. And I like to use the parchment paper because it does make it easier to transfer rather than just using the flour. And then if you want, you can just cut off any extra or excess parchment paper that you have. So now I'm gonna chop up some fresh parsley. You won't really need much. Okay, so next you're gonna take your butter mixture, about two tablespoons of melted butter, and as much garlic powder as you please, because hello, we love garlic around here. And then next to this mixture, you're gonna add about two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, grated. All right, now we are gonna add about two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley to our butter and Parmesan mixture. Oh, and garlic. So now you're going to mix up your concoction. Ooh, butter concoction. Butter, garlic, Parmesan cheese, all the goodness. Without trying to make a mess. Well, we know you think you don't make messes, but you do. I don't know. All right, so after we have brushed the stromboli with our delicious butter concoction, this is what it looks like. And Alex is about to take a chef's knife. Ooh, look at the way he's holding that. It looks very dangerous. Okay, he's gonna just cut, like every two inches, he's gonna cut like a little slit in it. So now it's ready to go in the oven on 375 for 25 to 30 minutes. Yum. Babe, how good do you think this is gonna be? I think it's gonna be delicious. Oh my god. I'm starving, so. We right. have not ate today and we are starving and it looks so good. What are we waiting on? Let's get this bad boy in the oven. All right, so we just took it out of the oven. We did end up cooking it for about 30 minutes, 28 to 30 minutes, and it absolutely looks perfect. Okay, now it's time for the rooster taste test. Yes. Yummy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did not expect that, but look how good this looks. And you can pair this with some warm marinara sauce. That's what we did. And we're about to try it. What piece do you want? I'm gonna get this piece. You can put it on the table so I can try it. Over here, then you got it all up in the air. Can't taste it if it's in the air. Let me show you something up in the air. No, that's fine. Let's see, you gotta dip it in there good. I thought that was a big bite. Mmm. Mmm. Good? Is it hot? No, it's perfect. Wait. We'll definitely be making this again. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh man, I, I, words yeah. can't even describe it. We double dip around here. In case you were wondering, that is so delicious. If I had to rate this from one to 10, it'd be like a 12, in my opinion. It is so good, like 10 out of 10 for real. Highly recommend it. make this. It's so, so easy. It takes about 10 minutes to prep, longer for us because we were filming it, but it takes about 10 minutes to prep and 25 to 30 minutes to cook. And I promise you will enjoy it.
Yes, you will. All right, so the girls are actually dipping theirs in Italian dressing, the Olive Garden Italian dressing. And what did you say about it? It tastes like something from a restaurant. Yeah, it really does. It's like next level good. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this Stromboli recipe. It is so delicious. It is a must try. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. See y'all next time. Bye. Bye. March. <laughs> March, I go marching in <laughs> to the wind. So now we are ready to roll our pizza dough out into a rectangle. <laughs> rectangle. So now we are ready to roll our pizza crust out into a rectangle shape. <laughs> so now you're going to take your egg wash and expose. <laughs> what you exposing? Okay. Now it's time for the rooster taste test. <laughs> Okie dokie. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy, now daddy's doing YouTube, what are we gonna do?